Hi folks, my name is Florian from iProcess and today we talk about integration in automotive system and software development. This is an entry level video, but as usual, refreshers and cross movers are invited to stick around. The term integration shows up a lot in the automotive industry and most likely people are referring to the same or similar responsibilities, but not always in the same areas or on the same levels. So before going into those levels, what does integration actually mean? According to the dictionary, it means the process of combining with compatible elements in order to incorporate them and the act or process of making whole or entire. In other words, take components that are designed to be put together and create a system out of them. Kind of like a puzzle where only certain pieces can be merged together to a larger piece, just that in our world the tabs and blanks are way more complex. Also, the task of integration should not commence when the components are ready for integration, but much earlier, in the phase of interface and function definition. Now, let's look at typical integration levels in an automotive system, here illustrated in the V-model. First, there is a separate integration effort on software and hardware level. In software integration, the different modules are collected and then integrated over one or more instances into one software. For example, there is a software that reads sensor data. It uses a low-level module to read the ADC, a filter module to smoothen the data stream and a high-level software module to calculate physical values out of the input. These three modules need to work together and it is the responsibility of the integration to specify the interfaces and to merge the modules together when they are ready. Be aware that some modules can be used in multiple integrations, like this filter that is likely a global module that is centrally developed and maintained and therefore has fixed interface descriptions that have to be obeyed. Hardware integration follows similar principles. Just in that case, there are hardware modules such as integrated circuits or predefined PCB designs that have to be integrated. In our sensor example, the hardware has to provide power to the sensor, generated by a voltage supply ASIC for example, and it has to run the sensor readout through a bandpass filter, a combination of resistors and capacitors, in order to get certain interference of the signal, and then run it into the ADC input of the controller with a proper step-down converter to adjust the voltage. The next step is system integration, where software and hardware meet. Though it can get very complex at this level, the basic approach is the same. The components have to be merged based on and tested against their interfaces. Following up on our example earlier, this is where the hardware component and the software component for the sensor measurement meet and it is essential that the data transported, filtered and converted by the hardware is in the right format for the software to pick up and translate into a physical value that can be used in the algorithms on the controller. Also on this level, the actual sensor is going to be integrated, which of course comes with its own interface definitions and it has to fit into the hardware and software integration. Now that the system integration is successfully done, the next step is vehicle integration. The responsibilities of the vehicle integration efforts can span a vast variety of interfaces. Mechanical, like fit or connections. Electrical, like power or voltage. Signals, such as our analog or digital sensors, communications, for example CAN or LIN bus, just to name the most common. In conclusion, integration tasks can be performed on different levels in the process of automotive development, starting from a very detailed and component-focused integration down at the bottom of the V, all the way up to a high-level integration on the vehicle on the top. One thing they all have in common, use puzzle pieces, look at their tabs and blanks and create the bigger picture, piece by piece.